There was a time when Ryujinx quietly faded from the spotlight. While new emulators like Eden and Citroen were making waves with flashy updates, most Ryujinx forks went completely silent. No news, no progress, nothing. Many thought the project had reached its end. But behind the scenes, Kenji NX was being completely rebuilt from the ground up. And now, it's back stronger, smoother, and smarter than ever. The 2.0.5 update isn't just another version, it's a true comeback. Kenji NX 2.0.5 5 introduces a stretch to full screen mode that removes black borders and makes every game fill your display beautifully. A new 0.75x resolution mode boosts performance on mid-range devices. While controller support has been reworked, L3 and R3 now work perfectly on both physical and on-screen pads. The old double tap system? Gone. Replaced with cleaner, faster inputs. You can now customize your language, region, screen orientation, and even tweak the overlay button's size and position, giving you total control over gameplay. The new update feels noticeably quicker. Loading screens now show real-time progress. The on-screen keyboard is smoother, and time-related bugs are gone thanks to local time zone syncing. Even better, the APK size has been trimmed down to just 71 megabytes, making it lighter and faster than before. Every optimization is designed for smoother, more efficient gameplay. Under the hood, Kenji NX has been fully refreshed with Android SDK 36 and compatibility for Android 10 Plus. All outdated code and libraries have been replaced, improving stability and performance. Menus open instantly, transitions are clean, and everything feels optimized for modern devices. Eden focuses on visuals. Citron experiments with features. Kenji NX focuses on stability and simplicity no clutter, no confusion, just smooth gameplay and reliable performance. It's for players who want to start playing right away without complicated setups. Games now load faster, menus respond instantly, and controls feel sharp and delay-free. Even mid-range devices like the Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 handle it beautifully. Kenji NX isn't competing for flash, it's built for pure performance and smooth, consistent emulation. To get the best performance, Kenji NX 2.0.5 is optimized for Snapdragon devices, especially those that support custom GPU drivers. A Snapdragon 865 or higher is recommended, though devices with a Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 can still run most titles smoothly. You'll need an Adreno GPU with Vulkan 1.1 support, at least 6GB of RAM, 8 gigabytes or more for demanding games, and Android 10 or newer. Kenji NX 2.0.5 is available on the official GitHub releases page. Clean and up-to-date build. After months of silence, Kenji NX returns with power, polish, and purpose. It's lighter, faster, and more stable built for those who value smooth gameplay over flashy gimmicks. More updates are already in development, and the future looks bright once again. Because this isn't just another emulator, it's the comeback of something truly special.